Hey guys, I'm Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're gonna be working out here at the pond. We're gonna try to collect some of the duckweed. This is almost covering our whole pond. And we're gonna see if we can somehow collect it or skim it off of the pond here. I've had a lot of viewers that think that we can use it uh, and, and make some use out of it, maybe feed it to our animals. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to pull some of this off, see if we can figure out a way to harvest the duckweed and then see if we can actually find something beneficial to use it for. So I've already played around with this a little bit. So I've got, this is a semi trash pump. It's not your normal sump pump. This actually can take a little bit of debris and pump it through there. And I uh, already had this. So what I've come up with is I've got a bucket that I've cut out for this pump to sit in. I'm gonna use this as a skimmer and hopefully skim off some of this duckweed. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the bucket. And the trick is actually getting it the right depth in the water. So this area of the pond actually used to be a beach. So it's all sand right here and it's real gradual. So it's a perfect place to try to figure out the right depth for this. I'll tell you what, this sand makes it nice to kind of level this up, but if we don't have the right depth, it'll suck too much water out. It'll actually float the bucket. So we'll plug it in. We'll see if we got it deep enough. There it goes. It's definitely skimming. So that there should work out fine. It, the water level in the bucket is just slightly shallower than here and it's creating a vortex. It's actually going to pull that duckweed down inside in the pump and it'll pump it down this hose. So at the other end of the hose, you can see here's all the, the duckweed, look at that, coming out. So it's working. See, it's pumping that duckweed through. But now we just need a way to be able to collect that, let it pile up and not actually wash back down into the pond. So while we're doing that, I'll just go ahead, we'll just unplug this, and uh, we're gonna see if we can dam up around this hose, something that will help keep the duckweed in place, I hope. So what I'm thinking is we'll build a, like a silt fence around this, this hose and um, since I don't have, I'm trying to use stuff that I have on hand, you know, stuff that I own. I don't have to go out and buy something. So my first attempt is going to be just some old junk hay bales. Probably put them on their side. But uh, see if we can use this to filter the water, keep the duckweed on the other side. So what I'm thinking is that the water will spray out on these concrete blocks and that's just gonna help keep it from eroding because if that pumps for hours, it's gonna make a big hole in the ground. So trial and error here. I may have to adjust the blocks once we get it started. I thought it was gonna flip back at me. Come on. We don't want it there. Right. You guys are about to watch me get soaked. Oh, Rebecca would enjoy this. She'd get a good laugh out of me getting wet. I feel like I need to move it down a little bit. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get that any better than that. I think, uh, I think I'll find a couple more concrete blocks just to lay out there to keep the ground from eroding. So on the other side of the bales, you can see it's all wet. There's just water flowing through here. So it's flowing through the bales and you can see that it's, you know, it's collecting down here and running, running into the pond. So I think we'll let this sit for a while. We'll see how well it does. So it's 10 a.m. right now, so we'll time this and we'll see how much this collects in so many hours. But there's already enough there that I can collect it 
and see if the animals will eat it while it's wet. So I don't know if they'll eat it wet or if I'd have to dry it out first. So we'll just go ahead and collect some up and we'll go to the chickens, the turkeys, goats, steers, and pigs. We'll see if any of them will eat it. Well, I've already got a half a bucket right there. I'm sure I could have filled this whole thing up if I wanted to. I think we'll try to squeeze most of the water out of this before we feed. <laughs> I bet you this ends up being like 50% uh, water. I think I just need like a screen or an old screen door to filter this through. All right, the first stop is the barnyard. If we can get these guys to eat any of this, I don't know. Let me just sprinkle it around and see if any of the chickens or anybody peck at it. Let me throw a little bit up here, see if the goats eat it. Yeah. Hi, Finny, you want some of this? A little wet down in there. It'll dry out, I'm sure. The chickens gonna eat it or not? Turkeys? Any takers? You guys are just curious. Well, the chickens peck at it a little bit and then they seem to spit it out. So far, I'm not really getting any takers. They're just kind of more curious about it. So, maybe it'd be different when it's dry. The chickens might be eating it a little bit, like this one over here. She looked like she actually may have been eating it. Yep, she is. So we got at least one chicken that's eating it. Yep. So the duckweed is still damp, and there's a few chickens that pecked through it and ate a little bit of it, but you can see they all left. They're not messing with it. Um, so we'll have to try it while it's dry and see if they eat it if it's dry. But so far, damp is not working, which would have been ideal, been less work. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Come on, come here. Come here, pigs. You guys like your feed wet anyway. Maybe you guys will eat this. You wanna try this? Come here. Come here, Petunia. You guys interested? Don't bite my fingers. You guys eat that? I can see you eat it better. I think the pigs are actually gonna eat it. I do believe we got a winner here. It does look like the pigs will eat up a little bit of that duckweed. Good piggies. That's what I like to see. That's basically free food right there. Man, I didn't think I could take pond weeds and turn them into bacon. That's pretty cool. So pigs aren't a ruminant animal, so they can't ferment that and uh, digest it like a, like a cow would. So they'll get a little bit of nutritional value out of that. It probably won't be a ton, but um, they do like it. And uh, so far they're the ones that like it the best. So I think the steers will be a little picky. Um, I think they'll be upset that if I call them over here, they're not gonna get some grain, but we'll try, see if we get them come here. Here steers. Here, steers. I don't think they like the smell of it. You want some Oreo? Or I'm, yeah, come here, Oreo. Well, I'll tell you what, boys, you're gonna get some in here. It'll dry, and you can see what it tastes like later with your feed. If not, we'll have to pull it out. Well, so far, the steers just wanna smell it. They're pretty curious though. They may eat it later, especially if it dries out here in the sun. So we'll come back and see if it's missing. Well, it's been a half an hour and it's probably four inches deep 
of duckweed here in front. So definitely collecting. Be interesting after you know 12 hours what this looks like. We'll collect a little bit more of this and dry it. Best place for it to dry will be out here in the sun. Just kind of spread this out thin here. And once it dries out, we'll try again to feed it to the animals. All right, well, I made an adjustment to the bucket. So I actually cut it in more of a V shape from the sides. And you can hear it sucking a little bit of air, but it's definitely taking more surface water. And it's pulling it down in there. Got a really good vortex and pumping that duckweed out. So I think that's working a little bit better. Definitely has real good flow, even though it's got air pulling in. So here's what it looks like on the other side. You can see, see it's flowing really good. Lots of duckweed coming out. Definitely skimming better after I recut the bucket. So we still got the aerators going, all four of them. Hoping that's gonna improve our water quality. Well, it's been two days now, two and a half days since I started this. It's actually still flowing. It's underneath here, you can't see it. Barely flowing at all. That's eh, flowing all right. The pump, I think, is a little clogged up. So the, uh, the duckweed is now built up about halfway up the bales. It's finally starting to go around the sides. So I think that's about as much as we're gonna gather up here. But I think the pump is clogged up a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull the pump real quick, just see what it looks like. So you can't tell any difference in the pond. It is still completely covered in duckweed. Duckweed. It's stuck to the bottom of the bucket. Oh, there we go. All right. So there's a little bit of stuff stuck to it. Let's see if we can wash it off. That ain't too bad, actually. I figured it'd be worse than that. There's a few sticks. Pull those off. Flush it with some clean water. Well, the pump wasn't too clogged up. It was easy to clean, and we've got it doing the uh, waterfall action again. So I think that does the best when it's acting like that. You can definitely tell after we cleaned it out, it's definitely flowing better. But, oh man, we're washing a bunch of the duckweed out. We're gonna have to turn this off. Now it's time to see if we can collect this. I'm gonna use the bucket of the tractor. I'm gonna see if I can scoop all this up, or at least the majority of it. I'm actually surprised this actually scoops, like it just slides into it, scoops up pretty easy. <laughs> actually a lot, a lot easier than cleaning out the barn, that's for sure. I'm running out of room for it. All right. I moved my hay bales from try to put everything back where it was. There she goes. All right, I got the uh, pump turned back on, so we're skimming the duckweed back off the surface of the pond. And you really couldn't tell that we made any difference whatsoever. So I think we could do this for a month or two before we could even tell that we took any off. There's just so much on the pond. But we've got a full bucket load from two and a half days. I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to the barn. I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. So after it was all done and said, um, we dried the duckweed. We tried to feed that to the animals as well. And the only animal that would eat the duckweed is the pigs. Even when it was dry, the turkeys, the chickens, the goats, the steers, nothing would eat this duckweed except for the pigs. So it didn't turn out to be a great food source like a lot of people thought it would. Um, 
I won't say that if the chickens and turkeys weren't starving in wintertime or something like that, that they might eat it, but there's obviously better things that they want to eat, and this is not their choice of food, so they decided not to eat it. So what I'm going to do with the bucket load, I may give a little bit more to the pigs and let them see if they chow down on some more of it, but we're going to mix it in the compost pile and see if we can at least turn it into something good for the garden or the hay field. You guys want some of this? Hmm? Will you eat it? There's some more. <laughs> Never thought I'd be slopping the pigs duckweed. There you go. I sure hope this doesn't give our bacon like a fishy flavor. That wouldn't be very good to sell to customers. What? Well, look at you trying to get through the fence at me. See, that's why they'll eat duckweed, because they'll try to eat my camera too. They'll try to eat my pants, they'll try to eat my boots. So why not eat duckweed? They try to eat everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bucket. I'm gonna add it to the compost pile. I'm gonna try to stir that in with the compost and hopefully this fresh green material, maybe it'll help heat the compost pile back up. Um, or if anything, at least it'll break down with the rest of the compost and uh, it'll be something good that we can use later. And at least it's not on the pond. All right, I got the, uh, the duckweed mixed into that compost bin over there, and then I took this one and mixed it in as well. So I've got all my compost in one side, and it's more broke down than I thought it was. It looked like you could see hay on top, so it gave the appearance that it wasn't broken down until you dug into it. It's nice, rich, and dark down inside of it, so that's gonna be, I think it's gonna be some good compost next year to uh, spread on the hay field. We'll use some of it in the garden as well. But, uh, I think that's at least one useful thing we can do with the duckweed, especially you can see that we didn't hardly take any of it off the pond. One bucket in the tractor was didn't make any impact, so I think we'll have several bucket loads over the next few weeks. We'll keep pumping it off. I'll keep playing around with it. It's only take about 30 minutes out of my day just to go out there, scoop some up, and then dump it in here and mix it in the compost. So I don't think it's like a huge hassle, I guess, now that we got everything set up to be able to collect it. but. Didn't end up being a huge source of food for the animals. Like uh, I think a lot of people thought that. I've seen that on stuff too, where people said you could feed it to your ducks and chickens. It just didn't work out real well for us. Um, maybe if it was their only fo food source and that's what they had to eat, it might work out. But uh, I think for now, we're just gonna compost it. And as I compost it, I'll probably throw some to the pigs as well. Let them have some, but uh, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. This is just a little experiment to play around with the duckweed, see if we could get some off the pond and see if we could find anything useful for it. Um, and we found a couple uses for it, the pigs and compost. That seems to be the two that will probably work. And uh, we'll just, uh, we'll play around with it in the next few weeks, just see what happens. But I think that's it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm, you got, you, got you got a little bit of duckweed on your mouth. Yep, yep, no. No, the other side. Yeah, I think you got it. See, they even fight over it just like any other food.